if you started to experience sudden changes in your body and the shape of your body is changing and you're blaming it all on the fat storage part of your body and you feel like I'm just gaining weight and I'm just accumulating more fat on your body. I want you to stay tuned to this episode because I'm going to explain to you some physiological changes that are taking place that actually have nothing to do with gaining more fat. And it's going to explain the one to two pound weight gain that naturally happens after about the age of 30. So if this piques your interest, I highly encourage you to stay tuned to this episode, to episode number 18, where we're gonna uncover some of the changes that are taking place in your body that have nothing to do with gaining excess fat. If you're frustrated by sudden weight gain, low energy, bloating, irritability, poor sleep and brain fog since you hit your 40s, this podcast is for you. Join me as we uncover the root cause of your midlife challenges and provide solutions tailored to your over 40 body. Hi, I'm Laura Frenchin, and I'm dedicated to helping women over 40 thrive by teaching them how to eat, move, and care for their bodies. As a former corporate controller turned holistic nutritionist, I feel called to support women as they transition into peri and postmenopause. I don't want another woman to struggle or feel overwhelmed by the changes she's experiencing since hitting her 40s the way that I did. Say goodbye to trying all the things and hello to mastering your metabolism after 40. If your body is suddenly changing and you're gaining more weight and your midsection is expanding, you feel more tired, you're more bloated than ever, and you don't know what to do with these changes, I'm here to help you. If the things that I'm sharing on this podcast are resonating with you, I highly encourage you to schedule a completely complimentary call with me. It's in the show notes. Click on the link and book some time with me and we'd hop on a call and discuss why your body might be experiencing these changes and we can determine if the program that I've created for this perimenopausal, postmenopausal woman would be well suited for you. It's a completely done for you program. It takes the guesswork completely out and it really guides you from this place of overwhelm to a place of really thriving and shedding weight with ease. So on this podcast, I'm going to demystify some of the changes that are taking place in your body. And I discovered these, the research to support these changes, and it was extremely helpful for me to know these facts and to know the things that were happening to my body. And it really helped me feel better about myself. And it, it helped me to stop um, striving to change the things that I couldn't. So I hope this episode does the same thing for you. So at about 45, you know, I've talked about this in the past. I started to put on pounds and it was about 10 pounds of what it felt like overnight. It was over a period of time, but it really did feel like overnight. And one of the things that started to happen, so two things I discovered. The first one was that my old shorts, so it was like a summer, right? Over a course of one summer, I couldn't fit into my old shorts anymore. And I felt like my hips had expanded, like my hips were just wider. And if I touched my hips, it actually wasn't fat. Um, It was actually bone that felt like it expanded. I've always been a very kind of like straight body, very, you know, narrow hips, but I was suddenly more curvy and I thought, what in the world had happened? Like I delivered two of my children through C-section because my hips never expanded during my childbearing years. I just had this really narrow body and suddenly I was very curvy and I had hips again and I kind of liked it and I always wanted like a more curvy figure and here I had it. But you know, I was kind of bothered because all of my favorite clothes no longer fit me. So I started to research this and I found some research that supported the fact that our hips actually widen with age. And I say this to you because I want us to stop blaming ourselves. You know, in society, we're blamed a lot. You go to your doctor, you're putting on weight. What are you told? Just eat less and move a little bit more. And you know, you're not doing enough and maybe you're just a little bit lazy. 
you know, and, and I'm really bothered by that because there are physiological changes that are taking place that are causing our body to change. And it's really not our fault. And it's part of nature. It's part of the protective nature of our body for to change. What I discovered in research is that our body is changing. So one of the changes is our expanding hip size. And it was discovered actually in the Journal of Orthopedic Research. Um, There was a discovery that our pelvis our hip bones change. So they were doing another research study and then they discovered that there was a real difference between the hips of an 80 year old compared with the hips of a 20 year old. And what they discovered was that the hip bones themselves are actually growing. The density of our hip bones are increasing with age. So they actually concluded in the study that, you know, we think we're just gaining fat, but uh, some of the weight gain, like the one to two pound weight gain that happens about at the, you know, at, at the age of 30 is actually a growth of bone. And, you know, I thought about this and it actually makes sense. You know, what are some of the common injuries that happen with age? Hip fractures, right? And some of the hip fractures that happen are to people's demise, like that's what a lot of people will end up dying from, not the hip fracture, but all the complications that happen as a result of the hip fracture. So this expanding hip width, it actually helps with stability and helps prevent hip fractures that happen later on in life. So it really helped me understand that I needed to park my shorts because even after I lost the weight, my ho- my shorts still don't fit. Some of my old clothes don't fit and I had to give them away. And I, I, some of them I gave to my girls and I've saved them for my daughters, but I had to just recognize that my body has physically changed. It has nothing to do with gaining weight. And I'll link the two research papers that I'm gonna reference so you can take a look if you have curiosity about this. It's actual research that is very conclusive. That's one of the things that happens that our hip bones will actually grow and expand with time and it has nothing to do with fat gain, okay? So that's one which was very comforting to me. And the second thing is, and I discovered this when I was trying to zip up an old coat. And I don't know if at this point if I gained any weight, but I went to zip up this very fitted coat that I have, which is beautiful. And I realized that it stopped right at my rib cage and I couldn't zip it up past my rib cage. And I thought, what? has happened here. I feel back here, there's no back fat, there's nothing that's changed. And I thought, have my hips changed and my rib has changed? And so I dug into some research and yes, I found that the shape of our ribs actually changes. And instead of, you know, they found that the ribs of younger children, and if you look at little kids, they have this very rounded rib cage. So what happens to us as we get older is that our ribs get flatter and wider. So that gives us a wider frame. And maybe this is physiological again. I'm not sure why this happens. Um, You know, maybe it's a protective thing for the body. I don't know. But I do know that in the research, it supports the fact that our, the change that our, frame is changing and that our rib cage is changing. So if you had clothes that were fitted and very structured and they no longer fit you, it might not have anything to do with fat gain and it might have everything to do with the fact that your bones are changing. So that's it. You know, I, I just wanted to share this data with you because I want us to really learn to embrace the changes that are taking place in our body. So yes, you continue to do your best to look well and exercise and feel confident in the body that you have, while at the same time embracing the fact that our body is going to physically change and it's okay and there are physiological things that are happening. So it's this yin and yang, right? This this acceptance and 
still continuing to take care of the body that you have the best way that you can while accepting the fact that things are going to ultimately change and it's okay. So for me, this is a very freeing thought that, you know what, my body's going to change and it's okay. I'm just going to continue to do the best that I can to take care of the, my, the body that I've been given, that I've been gifted the best way that I can. So I hope this resonates with you. I hope this helps you. And if you want support during this transitional time, I highly encourage you to schedule a complimentary call with me. Join my free community. All the links are in the show notes. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you on the next episode. Thank you so much for listening. And remember to join me each Wednesday and Friday for a fresh episode of the Master Your Metabolism Over 40 podcast. Are you looking for more resources? Go to nutritionherway.com for free recipes, resources, and a free community you can join today to get weekly tips and recipes sent straight to your inbox. Also, if you found this helpful, I would love it if you would leave a podcast review. It is the number one way you can thank me. Signing off in love and health.